Welcome guys, uh, my name is Wingless Prune, otherwise known as Sitting Duck 01 um, Today I'm just going to quickly go through a tutorial on changing or modifying small controls on your mouse and keyboard settings for Sim in uh, War Thunder, obviously um, So the first thing you just want to notice is I don't use head track So if you have head track, you already one up there, this will be a lot easier for you um, You don't need head track, but it obviously will, will help a lot um, secondly, um, we're going to address two main problems with default settings in Sim. The first main problem is this dead zone. Right, it is way too big, so if you put your mouse in there, you can't move your airplane anymore. It's preventing you. So if you have a, a target in that area, you can't make small adjustments to hit that target. So that's one thing we're going to look at. The second thing and main thing we're going to look at is rolling your airplane. So by default, the game is going to fight you and push you back. So you can't roll, just using your mouse, you can't roll your airplane. Okay. So the only way to roll now is to turn your airplane and then use one of the keys on your keyboard. Now, if you let go, it, it fights you and it wants to push you back. So this makes it really difficult if you're trying to get on the target that's just underneath you. Now you have to use your keyboard roll again this way, try and use your keyboard again and obviously it can be quite um, difficult to do that and quite frustrating when the game is fighting you the whole time. Alright, so let's go in there quickly, have a look at those settings. Okay, so obviously aircraft, your control modes, full real controls. Yeah, that's mouse joystick. Um, so uh, you can change all that, relative control becomes a bit more more uh, dodgy for me, I don't, I don't really understand that. Okay, we're just going to skip right past that. Just mouse joystick, that's what we want to use. Okay, so you want to go down here on the left to mouse joystick. Um, you want to change this, it says simplified to standard. The next thing you're going to do is want to reduce the sensitivity because trust me, it's, it's going to kick you in the butt. So I've moved mine down to 15%. Um, I'll obviously up that as I get better and better. Um, the dead zone. I've moved that down to 5%. I might even want to decrease that. I'm thinking 2% would be good. Everything else is fine. Now, the minute you flip this around to standard, what that's going to do is it's going to make your, um, it's going to invert your Y axis. So if you're using up to go up on your airplane and down to go down, this is going to flip it around. So if you're using down to go up, it's going to be down to go down now. So you need to go ahead and flip that as well as your camera controls if you're not using head track I would imagine so you want to change those two things and basically that means as you will notice straight away my dead zone is a lot smaller so I can make those much much smaller changes to my airplane now if I'm trying to hit a target you know small small changes that can make a big difference so that's one of the things that I've changed already um, and then secondly is rolling the airplane. So now all I'm going to do is just use my mouse. I'm not going to touch my keyboard. I'm just going to go like this. You'll see everything is much smoother. And you can roll completely. Cool. Done deal. No more, key no more keyboard. I don't need a keyboard there right now. The only time I need a keyboard is obviously when I don't, because I don't have head track. So if I need to um, track a target on the turn, I need to, you know, turn, look at him. Now I use my keyboard. Um, you know, to, to have a look where he is, I can now roll like this, roll around, nothing is fighting me, and I can get nice and easy back onto my target. Um, or obviously, you know, if you're looking behind yourself, um, you can still roll and move. Right. And nothing is fighting you now from the game. There's no game input that's preventing you from doing anything. Everything is nice and smooth. The only thing now is you can no longer just let go of your mouse. Obviously, if you've trimmed your airplane, um, it'll be a lot easier. So I've trimmed mine, so if I let go, my plane is just going to cruise nice and easy. Um, so trimming would be a whole nother story. Um, but if I now do this and let go, your plane is just going to... you're going to die. Okay, so you need to then counter that a little bit into your turn. Uh, but you'll get the hang of it. So once again, this is just my way of doing it. You guys can take this, use it, don't use it. Um, if you do use it, you'll probably find that you change it small in small ways to suit you, and that's awesome. Anyway, that's me, Wingless Prune, otherwise known as Sitting Duck 01. I do um, stream as well on Twitch on occasion, so if you catch me there, you'll be able to see me in, in action using this. Um, 
Yep, cool. Take it easy.